going to have a little bit of a history lesson. In the 19th century, many adventurers used to travel to North America in search for gold. Okay? Dan Jackson owned some land where gold had been found. So he owns the land in North America where this gold is going to be. But instead of digging for the gold himself, he decided he was going to rent out plots of his land to adventurers who would then be the ones that dig for gold. So he was going to get money by renting out his land. What he did is he gave each adventurer four stakes, okay, so that's like a wooden sort of peg, if you like, that you can put in the ground, and a rope that is 100 metres long. Okay, so a piece of rope and four stakes. And each adventurer had to use the stakes and the rope to mark off a rectangular plot of land, and that's where they can dig it. So these are the three questions that I want you to answer today, just using this information that we've got. So we've got four stakes, a rope of 100 metres. Now, as with the other investigation tasks that we've done, I'd like your write-up okay, to be in quite a particular format. So we've done one of a letter, and we did writing up the Z factor. Today, I'd like you to write it up as a report. Okay? So just a reminder of key things that will help you write your report. Okay? You might want to use subheadings. So you might want to show exactly what your thinking process is, how you went through working through this task. Keep your writing in a nice logical order. Make sure you use full paragraphs to explain any mathematical calculations. Okay, so remember, with this kind of work, we're trying to explain it to somebody that might not have a clue what you're talking about. You've got to show them every single little thing that you did. I want to know, what did you do? How did you do it? And what does it show? Okay, you're going to get a mark out of 10 for this, as with the other two that we've done. This is what you're going to get the marks for. So for like, find and collect data in an organised way. So you might want to try out some different rectangles, try out some different options, and then start thinking, well, how could I organise that data? Calculates correct areas, finds what shape is best for one adventurer and where the two adventures are better. So that's actually answering the mathematical question. Finds a rule or pattern in the results. So if you can actually put this into some generalised mathematics, okay, I'm going to be really, really impressed. Then this is your kind of literacy bit, so giving reasons and explanations for your findings, presentation, spelling and grammar in the report style write-up. Okay?